birch beer. It's basically tree soda. It used to be made with pine and oak bark. Now it's made with birch oil, typically from the birch tree, I guess. I don't really know. I'm a little bit in over my head right here, but all I know is this is tree soda. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to Food Review UK. Birch beer, aka what I'm calling tree soda. Yeah, so this particular one is from the Boylan Bottling Company. Click like, it helps us out. And this is, as I said in the intro, made with birch oils. It's also made with cane sugar, so this is like a high sugar uh, and should be a very tasty drink. It says you can twist it off, but I tend to have trouble doing that. Nah, it's sort of really easy. Just, I guess, caught the sauce. I'm so strong. Um, oh my god, no! It, it smells like something we've got in the UK. Oh god. So, this is apparently made with birch oil. Um, I'm guessing birch oil is from birch trees. I mean, this smells like um, dandelion and burdock, right? Man, I was basically, guys, I was watching a YouTube channel that I'm fairly new to. I think it's called Strictly Dumpling. And he was at like an Amish all you can eat buffet. And one of the drinks they had available was birch beer. And I was like, birch beer? Never heard of it. And now I'm just wondering if it's their name for sort of done dandelion and burdock. Or at least if it's going to um, taste like dandelion and burdock. Uh, guys, I'm really sorry. I don't have a glass on this occasion. But I can't really tell what colour it is. Probably brown. Right, let's give it a go. Birch beer. Oh, yeah, it is. Um, actually, is it like root? Is it like root beer? I can't tell if it's more like root beer or dandelion and burdock. I guess they're all quite similar. I think it's more like root beer. Actually, I do wonder if this is just Boiling Bottling Company's version of root beer. Um, in terms of the actual body of the soda, it is so sweet and that cane sugar gives it a lovely rounded note. So it's very soft. And those flavours, that sort of aniseedy note and the floral note, I think this is root beer basically. Um, it's actually kind of weird, kind of nice. Yeah, it's deep, woody, earthy, but also very smooth. Slightly smoky. There's like a smoky aftertaste. I think it's a good drink. I think ultimately it's not a drink for me because I've never been the biggest fan of root beer. And like I say, this is probably the closest thing I could compare it to. I'll tell you what, what this makes me want to do is compare root beer side by side with dandelion and burdock. And sort of, basically, am I in the process of unlocking the realisation to me that dandelion and burdock is the same as root beer? I don't know. This is an interesting story that I'm starting to unravel and I think it requires more attention. Now, as for this, I got it from a taste of states. I should have mentioned this earlier actually because I technically speaking I didn't pay for this. Um, a taste of states they give us free products every month in exchange for our promotion of them obviously. So you can use our code FRUCK20 to get 20% off. Um, this is a tough one because I'm not a massive fan of it, but actually I do respect it as a really, really delicious um, and rounded soda that is really high quality. Um, it's just not my flavour, so I think I'm going to give it three stars. Oh, powerful afternote as well. Anyway guys, um, do you have any information on dandelion and burdock versus root beer? If you're new, please subscribe, and we'll see you next time on this channel called Food Review Land.